Hi guys, I just wanted to make this video because I felt it was like definitely quite close to my heart. Um, and a bit worried to me for the girls of today. Um, I just want to apologise, my top does keep flipping falling. It's a flipping nightmare. Oh, but yeah, point one. <laughs> Um, just want to say, uh, if I sound a bit like this in my video, it's because I'm feeling a bit crap, a bit stuffy. Also, I have dyed my hair yesterday. I dyed it black current. Um, I fancied a change of uh, scenery. I'm still getting used to it a little bit. It doesn't show up that great on camera, but like in my mirror. And outside, it's quite sort of bing. Um, I, I'm a bit on off with uh, how I feel about red hair dye and purple hair dye. You know, I always feel it sometimes makes my hair look a bit greasy because of it's so shiny, the colour. Bit of a nightmare. Anyway, moving topic. I want to do this video about curvy girl problems and how I feel about curvy girls and slender girls. I don't want people to think straight away, as I've just said that, oh my god, she's going to rant about how girl power and being chubby's fine and being skinny's wrong. No, not at all. I'm going to, like, you know, swing at it from both sides because I completely agree from both sides. People that are smaller that find it hard to put on weight is just as hard as people that are bigger trying to lose weight. Um, sometimes putting on weight is so much harder than losing weight and I completely understand that. So if you are a smaller girl, I'm completely on your side. And if you are a bigger girl, I'm right behind you. Um, <laughs> I'm a curvier, bigger girl. Um, I just want to start off by saying my figure, personally, I am about a size 14. I can sometimes fit into 12s on a good day. Uh, depending on what, what shop I've gone to, but I am usually about a size 14, and in some sometimes I am sometimes a 16. But um, I was reading a documentary post thing, and the average size for a lady in the UK is actually a size 16 or above. Um, so as time goes on, us girls are getting chunkier, we're getting bustier, we're getting bigger boobs, we're getting larger butts. And um, we are getting love handles and muffin tops. Um, you know, I love food. And I know that most people do love food. <laughs> you know, it's just the way it is. And unfortunately, when you are blessed with the curse of curves, if you love food, your body don't love you. Uh, you know, I only have to look at a chocolate cake and put on about £15. It's not fair. Um, if I could have that problem of just... Eating and eating and eating and eating and eating and not putting on a weight but still being a healthy weight. My god, that would be great. Um, fortunately not. <laughs> but yeah, so I am full, a size 14 in most shops. Um, both, sometimes I'm a 12 in my trousers, sometimes I'm not. Um, it's very rare that I'll buy jeans, um, really, unless I think that I'm absolutely comfortable in them. Um, bikinis... I'm a size 14 in both, um, top and bottom. Um, I don't have big boobs, so, you know, <laughs> my figure is sort of boob, hip, uh, waist, sorry, and then big hips. I've got really big hips, um, which I really, really hate. Um, I know some people will be like, oh, my God, having hips is great and handy. Um, <laughs> but... Um, as for self-esteem and confidence, I don't like my figure. I just don't. Um, a lot of people say, Amber, you're pathetic, you're being stupid, you're fine, just accept yourself. Um, I'm not, I don't hate the way I look, I'm just not happy with it. Um, I do want to sort of lose a bit of weight and tone. I don't want to lose like a drastic amount of weight. If I go from a size 14 to a size 12, I can die a happy woman. You know what I mean? It, it's great. I don't think I've ever been a size 10 in my entire life. And if I was a size 8, I think that just wouldn't be me. So, you know, dropping a size would be great. If I drop one more to a 10, that's a freaking miracle. Um, but any more than that, I just would not want to do. And I know that that's probably the same for a lot of women. A lot of women might be size 18s and getting to a 14 would just be like their dream. Or getting to a 16 would be fantastic. That's great. Vice versa. People that might be a size 8 get into a size 10 or 12, that's great for them as well. A lot of people want to maybe put on a bit of weight. But I think the problem is there's so much sort of controversy out there with our sort of celebrities. I say Michelle Keegan as an example, not because she's the first really skinny woman I'm thinking of, but because of she's in like Coronation Street and I know a lot of people like watch Coronation Street and she's in a lot of papers, in magazines. Now that she's get, like engaged, is she engaged or married? No, I think she's engaged to Mark Wright. 
um, and that they're moving in together. I know a lot of people like watched Essex and stuff like that. I don't, so I don't even know where he's from. But I know a lot of people do watch it, so then they know that both of them together, you know, they know Michelle Keegan a lot through that females. Um, so I use her as an example because a lot of people look up to her. They sort of see her as a role model. Um, I know people like from my own experience that have got pictures of her plastered everywhere and that's what they want to look like they want to be that thin they want to be that tanned that gorgeous you know so i do worry sometimes that a lot of people do maybe look up to celebrities maybe not so much as they should and i feel really sorry for the girls that are a lot bigger that have to see this and it's quite like whoa why am i i'm not normal and a lot of girls do feel that way sometimes even i see things like on the telly or in the magazines and then i think oh god maybe i'm not normal and it does make you question yourself. And it's sad that it makes you do that. Other celebrities like Lily Allen, um, she did a song about being a curvier girl. I think this is after she'd um, just had a kid. Um, she wrote a song about being a curvier girl and how she, she didn't care. She was happy being a curvier girl and F you and all that sort of stuff. And then she lost a crap load of weight. So all the girls that looked up to her for that are now feeling like, wait, what just happened? And that's quite sad as well and there's who else is it i'm trying to think of some really good sort of stereotypes that are awesome a lot of like the only way is essex and geordie shores and stuff some of the girls are bigger some of the girls are absolutely tiny a lot of girls don't really know where they sort of fit and it is sad going into shops and not really knowing what size you are you know you put a size 14 jeans on they're too small you put a size 16 on they're too big there's no middleman there's no 14 and a half and that's really difficult as well. Um, ladies with bigger boobs, um, you might have to buy sizes that are two times bigger than you already are. Say you're a size 12, you might have to get a size 16 just to cater for your boobs. Like you need the fabric to go over these and this. It's a bloody nightmare. My mum's got that problem. You know, she's not a size 16, but she might have to buy a size 18 sometimes just to cover her tits just because they're huge. Um, so I'm quite fortunate for that department that I don't have big boobs, <laughs> although it would sort of even me out a bit. So there's that as well. Um, I also absolutely hate the fact that when you go into a shop and you see really nice tops and then they don't have your size. Or they have your size but then the top looks completely different. And then you're just like, what the... That's, that really frustrates me quite a lot. <sighs> Bikinis. My God. Bigger ladies. Bikinis, if you've got the if you've got like the confidence and self esteem to do it, fab. I completely look up to you and wish that I could be like you. I went on holiday with a girl, not gonna say who, but I did, and she wore like this string bikini. She's a bigger girl, and she, like just bits of fabric to just cover her nipples, so to speak, and then like a really skimpy bottom half. And she is blessed with the curse of curves, like myself bit bigger than me not as big as some but if she feels great in that fab but i wouldn't be able to do that because my own self-esteem is just really shit and you know finding the bikinis that look better for you it's doable i would say probably bikini finding might be a little bit easier you can wear tankini some people wear full length swimming costumes um you know i find that the swimming costumes sort of bikinis that suit me are the ones that sort of come across like this and then you have the straps that come from here up here that you can take off and whatever and then wearing if I say sort of square bottoms instead of sort of skimpy stringy ones that looks a lot that sort of holds me together a bit more than um say the skimpier bikini um also if you're with a significant other and you're watching tv or a film I find this really hard because it has happened to me like a few times in my past and it really just pisses me off your significant other knows that you're a curvier girl they might not agree but they know that you know that you feel like shit about yourself half the time and this girl pops up on tv gorgeous skinny tanned you know the movies have made her look like that i hate it in them action films you know when they've like been through blasts and car crashes and they've rolled over and their face is perfect and their hair has not moved that really pisses me off. Girl, I only have to walk outside for 10 minutes in the heat and it just all fucks up. Sorry for my language. True. 
And then your significant other goes, God, she's fit. And you're just sitting there just like a bloody well lemon wanting to eat a pile of chocolate cake because now you feel like crap. That that also really gets on my behind. Really annoys me. It's just like, just think it up here. Don't say it out loud or say it with your guy mates. Don't say it when your girlfriend's sitting right next to you because that really does just make her want to lose a ton of weight. In a nutshell. Tell me if I'm wrong, but if your significant other does that in front of you, does it piss you off? Leave a comment below. That'd be great. And, yeah, it just, oh, just oh, it really gets to me. There's girls out there. I really worry about the younger girls of today. Um, they're making themselves sick. Some girls are literally not eating. How do you do that? I love food. They're not eating. They're making themselves sick. I know a girl that's actually, well, I don't know a girl, but I know of a girl that's actually got a belt thing. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a wide belt. And she like tightens it every day just to hold her in that oh my god please don't do that it just it scares the absolute shit out of me what girls are doing and it is really 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 scary or they're taking these really bad dieting pills dieting pills are fine like i've tried raspberry ketones before they're quite herbal and stuff like that but there's these girls that are ordering them, ordering them off the internet not knowing that where they're coming from with all these sort of chemicals in them that are actually really gonna hurt them and they are getting sick from it and then they're chucking up and then they're losing weight so then they think that they work so then they keep taking them but actually it's just fucking them up and it's just not very nice <laughs> so yeah please be careful um, you know, it's the same for girls that are trying to put on weight. There might be like protein shakes that the girls drink, and I know a lot of guys drink it for like muscle and stuff. Um, it is hard. And on the note of muscle, muscle does weigh more than fat. It just does. I'm a ride horse rider. Have been since I was seven years old. I've got rider's thighs. Anybody that doesn't know what rider's thighs are, they're big thighs. Like Beyonce has got a crack in pair of legs. Um, you know, if I had to tan, I'd be like, yeah, I'm Beyonce. No, I'm not. Oh, the single ladies. Oh, the single ladies. But, that was embarrassing. Please say that was Beyonce. Oh, shit. But, yeah, it was. Um, You know what I mean. Having bigger thighs, like, when they're pro, pro, pure, hard and muscle, they do way more. Um, wearing shorts and then your big legs, um, they expand when you sit down. You know, I, I hate that, but that is just the way it is. I'm sure there probably is a way that I could maybe lose the muscle in my legs, but I don't really know how. Um, same for other girls might have that problem as well. And it is just difficult, like finding jeans for bigger legs or I live in jeggings, leggings or shorts half the time. So I don't really like skirts, but hey ho. And obviously when I always complain about the length of my hair and then I have like not a fan, I don't have a fantastic body. Uh, so I always feel like I can't really win. I haven't got this, so I don't have that. But I'm grateful for what I do have, you know. I'm here, I'm breathing, I'm alive, I'm waking up every morning, you know. I could complain all I want, but at least I am still alive. <laughs> so there's a lot of people that have a have a lot worse out there and they're ill and they've got problems and yeah, weight is weight can be changed. Um but that was a bit morbid. But yeah, the, it is a massive problem for girls of today, you know especially when they like guys and they feel that they have to change for these guys and that's not the case at all um maybe it is maybe it's not <laughs> the guy's clearly a prick if he wants you to change um but and vice versa if you try and change a guy girls just don't do it <laughs> if you don't want them to change you don't change them uh, but yeah it is it is it's hard and and the wobble you get sometimes when you uh walk around your legs sort of jiggle that, that gets to me but yeah it is curvy girl problems and girls that are skinny are trying to put on weight I feel that as well but I do feel that maybe I should have done this video I feel glad that I did it um, I did get asked to do it somebody said oh but you're a curvier girl please do a video on how you feel about it and your opinions and experiences so yeah I'm gonna I think I've kind of covered what I wanted to yeah, let me know, guys, if you want me to do any more videos. I love doing them for you. Um, I am using a really crap camera, so I'm sorry if the quality is a bit naff. But, yeah, I will see you guys soon, and I hope you have a lovely day.